impressed. This place is really nice. We'll show you kind of where we've been as far as on the map. So you guys can kind of orient yourself as to where we are in the journey. Now, in the last live stream, we're at the Bitcoin ATM. We found it, that's the good news. The bad news is it was a complete fail. It didn't work. And now that one thing that I'm really kind of, well, it's frustrating to be honest with you, is we were expecting that a Bitcoin ATM in the spirit of Bitcoin would be anonymous. But the very first thing that it asked us for is, or Shane, is his phone number. And then it asked him for his email. And then it had to, uh, then he couldn't get it to work. And then Josh used it. He got it to work, but then he had to type in uh, his phone and then had to text him a message to verify that it was him. And we never got the message. So we had to, we had to just kind of cut it off right there and try something else. So I, I don't know if they're different Bitcoin ATMs. Maybe you guys can tell me in the chat. Yeah. But with this one, it's the least anonymous thing. I mean, it's it's like you might as well be doing the KYC thing in a bank, for heaven's sakes. So that would be, that's like a Klaus ATM. That's the opposite of what we're trying to find here. So even if we would have been able to get that thing to work, it wouldn't have been an option because it's it defeat it's obviously the whole challenge is to try to transact outside of the system so even if you're transacting with bitcoin but inside the system what's the point so the good news is we called luke which is josh's buddy he's in the bitcoin space and uh, he was in buenos aires a few months ago and he text us a spot which we're going to right now which is not a bitcoin atm but a place that's kind of like a bitcoin cafe where luke said he never had a problem doing peer-to-peer -peer transactions to actually buy pesos sorry about the audio guys i'll try to keep the phone close to my my head so, uh, and Luke was saying that we can do on-chain transactions and off-chain, like lightning. So we're about five minutes from this, I don't even know what it is, I guess a Bitcoin cafe. And we're gonna take you along with us inside, see what it's like. We've never been there. We have no idea what to expect. And then we're gonna try to A, find it, and then B, transact, sell some Bitcoin to uh, have some money for lunch. So I'll flip it around so you guys can kind of see what Buenos Aires is like. A lot of bikers here. So we got Shane. Shane's the Steve Jobs of the CBDC Road Trip to Freedom Challenge. We're in the exact same thing. Just so you, Shane, tell him. Oh, you washed your shirt last night? Oh, wow. That's a that's a big move for you. And tell him about your underwear situation. I did grab a couple like something in my backpack. So you actually had a couple pair of boxer shorts. And a few pairs of socks. Nice, nice. Oh, you actually bought socks though at uh, yeah, well, Cordoba. Socks have oh, yeah. Time. yeah. So yeah, we're good. And uh, the shirt, this is actually a merino wool, which is uh, <laughs> a <laughs> Shane, Shane wool Shane has been very, very proud of his merino wool t-shirt there. I have no idea what merino wool is, but I guess if you have the option of buying one of those, Per Shane, make sure you do it. You know what else is crazy, guys? I don't even know if I... I was going to tell you on the last live stream, and I think I lost... I went off on a tangent or something like that. But I personally hate, hate mosquitoes. Especially the Bill Gates types of mosquitoes, which unfortunately now are everywhere. So 
that place where we were last night was just bug infested. They were everywhere. It was crazy. I've never seen anything like that. So when I was in my hotel room, I Googled mosquitoes, Buenos Aires, and wouldn't you know it, just my luck. And you guys fact check me on this one. Do a Google search. I'm not making this up. Right now, Buenos Aires has a once in a hundred year infestation of mosquitoes. Sure, of course, the day I come, it's gotta be and to the point where they're completely sold out of bug spray. Again, look this up online. I'm not making this up. It's like toilet paper during the cerveza sickness. Like people are literally fighting over mosquito spray. Now, they're not bad now because it's during the day, but tonight it could be extremely challenging. Fortunately, I've got a long sleeve shirt, but I just, and the, the dang fever, I guess, has been a real, real issue here. So just throwing another curveball into the journey, into the challenge that is the CBDC road trip, the freedom challenge. But, uh, you know, I, I, as soon as we see Doug tonight, we're gonna go out, try to have a good time, have some beers. Might go to some live music. Maybe we can stream that. But I might be heading out tomorrow or Monday just because I don't want anything to do with these stupid mosquitoes or bugs. Or I'm not even that worried about dang fever. I just, I just hate mosquitoes. <laughs> you gotta tell them about the tent that you have. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Josh, tell them about it. It's awesome. So Josh always makes fun of me everyone, because everyone would should make fun of him for this. No, 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 no. It's genius. It's yeah, genius. I don't know about that, but you, you take out your, your luggage and then you just have a slingshot of this massive little like bug protector, little like campsite. Yeah, I in, travel with in it. In your bag. I so, travel with it. I put it on top of the bed. That's why I always get a queen bed. Yeah, yeah, because it's this massive like slinky that just explodes of. Yeah, because you have to fold it. It's like wire, but you have to fold it like four, three or four times to where it's just so, there's so much tension and the wires to, to be able to fit it in your bag. So when you take it out of your bag, it just boom, it springs up. But then it's in the perfect shape of the bed and you crawl right in and then you're protected from the mosquitoes and bed bugs too. Yeah. That last because place, the, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, where we had to too. stay last night. I guarantee there were bed bugs I'd, there. Guarantee. I wouldn't be surprised if my bag just starts crawling. Yeah, there were definitely bed bugs at that place. Okay, so how far are we from the... I mean, it's supposed to be on this road like a minute or two away. Okay. But we're hearing this from another gringo buddy of ours. No, Luke's, Luke's an Aussie. I don't know if he's technically a gringo or... So what's a gringo? Just American? I think so. so but I just call everyone white yeah. a gringo. Yeah. So Luke's a gringo. Yeah. Actually, anyone that dresses like Shane <laughs> is, a, is a gringo. <laughs> or me. Or me too. Yeah. I mean, look at the way I... Yeah. I mean, if you see some random guy with a baseball hat like a t-shirt and especially these pants with like pockets on the side whatever they're called oh here it is right here so this is the place mundo de visas oh here we go right on no oh here hold the hold the hold the thing okay tom says oh bitcoin uh Two bucks, Bitcoin? Okay, cuando? Uh, no. 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 What? She says they, they do, but the guy that does it isn't is here. here until Monday. <laughs> oh. oh, please, for favor. <laughs> No, no, Domingo. <laughs> uh, we should have done this with that as well. Or, sorry, uh, yeah. El Salvador. Okay. Is, uh, un, un masa tienda para Tether as well. I guess in that tether logo. Yeah. Yeah. They also have one there. Yeah, tether Bitcoin. Oh, here you go. Take a picture of this chain. 
Gracias. All right. Gracias. Fail. Every single place we've been to has been a fail. Yeah, I know. You're watching. Thanks for nothing. <laughs> All right, how do I do it? All right. So if you guys didn't hear that, I spoke with a gal. She says they do take Bitcoin or they'd buy Bitcoin, but the guy that would do it isn't there today and he won't be there until Monday, which that, that, that does us no good. Us. No, no, no. So we took a pic, I asked her if there was any other store that might do it. And so she gave us, we took a picture of what, how far is that place, Shane? But the good news is it's a gorgeous day. Yeah. No mosquitoes yet. No mosquitoes yet. Yet's the key word there. And we're just walking around exploring Buenos Aires. So all in all, still a lot of fun. Vlad was just, or Vlad was just saying that he, uh, what did you get in Africa? Uh, malaria. So you got malaria? Yeah, that was bad. Jeez. <laughs> so I'm more careful now, especially with Bill Gates mosquitoes and things like that. Yeah, did you call Bill Gates and ask him when you got malaria? <laughs> reality to get them back. Or do you text him and say, thanks a lot, you <laughs> asshole? <laughs> All right, Shane's going this way. Or no, now he's going this way. <laughs> I'm walking this way and it's like the dots yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll keep following Shane here so you guys can check out more of Buenos Aires. You said they're saying dressed like a gringo. We all have the exact same thing on. Yeah, I know. Oh. <laughs> Another thing too, if you saw the insane live stream we did yesterday when we were driving in the murder capital of Argentina. The driving was even more crazy when we got to the location of the hotel when they had literally every single intersection had six, six directions of traffic and each street was, well, a lot of them were two way. So you have a six-way intersection, not just one. Pretty much every single intersection in the entire city is a six-way intersection. No stop signs, no street lights, no rules, pure chaos. And you not only have cars, but you've got bikes, you've got people walking, you've got horses. It's just like nothing I've ever seen in my life. And, uh, you know, fortunately, when we drove out of the town this morning, there wasn't really much traffic at all. But I think I did a quick live stream last night of what it looks like. But it's, I don't understand how there's not just like a hundred driving fatalities a day with people just constantly getting into a wreck. I know some people are saying, oh, well, Buenos Aires is worse. Not even close. When it so far, BA has been a, a child's play compared to, dri compared to driving that last place with the six-way intersections. And then some people I, I saw in the chat were saying, oh, well, you, it's like the right-of-way. No, no, you, you don't get it. <laughs> there's no right-of-way, there's no left-of-way, there's no bottom-way, there's no top-way. It's just, uh, it's, it's Frogger. It's, it's Grand Theft Auto. It's just uh, whoever has the biggest balls, basically. That's who's going to go first. All right, so Shane, now what are we doing? The GPS is in South America and not great, so. Yeah. <laughs> Holy cow, now it's this way. 
<laughs> oh, there's a line of people here. Is that just to buy stuff? Oh, wow. Well, if you ever need vegetables, that's the place to go. How often do you see a line of people at the so vegetable store? Way, Shane, you got to be kidding me. We're going right back where we started. Are they? Oh, somehow. Dude, pull it together, man. Yeah. Holy cow. It's been a long journey. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You got to be kidding me. Oh my gosh. This is like a comedy of errors here. Okay, so tell me in the chat, what is the probability that Shane stops in about 50 feet well, and says, no, 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 it's, it, it's, it's that way. <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's, the, oh, yeah, yeah, it's the GPS is fault. Every single time I pull up the GPS, it does the same thing. So it's the GPS. I don't know. When I pull up the GPS, it seems to work well. You, you live in Columbia, so I feel like you're numb to the... the in incapability of the GPS working. My brain has just somehow, yeah, just I translate the, the failings of the GPS into something that's actionable. Hello. Hey, we got some, everybody wants to be on the Rebel Capitalist live stream. Josh, have you been working on your pickup lines? I, I don't know, they told me in the comments what to say, but after what's the some, what's the best pickup line you saw in the comments? After doing some research, you got to figure out how to say it in Spanish for tonight when we told me, when uh, we go out after dinner, so they can pick up some of the the, the Buenos Aires ladies. They, they told me some Spanish pickup lines, but after doing a quick Google search, I don't know if that would give me a date or maybe slap in the face. So well, you never know. Yeah, I guess you don't. I mean, sometimes those are the best pickup lines. <laughs> Not if you saw the ones that they were commenting. It's like there, there's no negative PR. Yeah, but there was definitely some. Any a, PR. any reaction is <laughs> is better than nothing. So what's the best pickup line you got? There wasn't any. There wasn't. Any. You don't remember any? Something about having a, a gato in my pants. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I think that might be the opposite. I think yeah. they were probably making fun of you. Yeah, they were. Whoever in the chat they was. Were. I think Shane might be lost Shane again. Lost. I remember I remember what uh, Josh, did Ty ever tell you his pickup line? Come here, come here. I don't know what, what was no, it? No, no, his no. hand motions? No, so for those of you, well, I don't know why you would know this, but uh, I'm really good buddies with uh, another guy named Josh. We call him Big Josh. And uh, he used to work for me way back in the day. And uh, he's good friends with another friend of mine named Ty, who uh, I've known for many, many years. And uh, anyway, Ty's a legend, Josh, they're awesome. And they always come down to Medellin to visit. And we go, we go party and Josh has partaken in many of the, the party nights that we've had with Ty and Josh, that's for sure. And Peyton, gotta throw him in there. Oh, so a fun fact about my buddy Peyton. He was the last baby to be delivered by Ron Paul. Isn't that cool? And I had my a meetup for my birthday party back in 2021, if you guys remember that. I rented out a whole bar during COVID so no one would have to wear masks. And Peyton and Josh and Ty came to the, uh, the birthday party meetup and Peyton gave me a gift it was kind of unusual, you know, me and my buddies, you know, we're not the real gift giving types, but he gave me a gift and it was a photocopy. And I looked at it, I'm like, huh, oh, that's weird. And he actually gave me a photocopy of his birth certificate signed by Dr. Ron Paul. So is that not the, the coolest thing ever? But anyway, I remember Ty's pickup line. Josh, you gotta remember this, write this down. You gotta say, what did he used to say? He go, oh yeah, he'd say, he'd say, damn girl. Or no, what he'd say, I know milk does a body good. 
Oh, that, 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 that's that's it. I just remembered. He'd say, I know milk does a body good, but damn, girl, how much milk you been drinking? <laughs> <laughs> but you have to know Ty to know how he would say it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, watch That's out, watch yeah, out. Not oh, here we go. Pago Tienda. Hopefully we have some luck. Oh, got, you've got to be got kidding me. No way. Oh, they've got the, the biometric scanner thing they for... Oh, that is late. Well, oh, look at that. Oh, my gosh. This is the ultimate <laughs> house. No way. I've never seen one of these. Oh, my gosh. Josh, are you going to let them scam Aetna? Zero percent. I'm getting my record. Oh, I can't believe we found one of these things. I've done so many videos on this. Wow. Let's see here. So I don't even want to see my eyeball. I'm going to go around like this so it can't, so it can't see me. Okay, I'll try to figure out that Oh, the orb, that's what it was. Wow, this is a mega fail. I wonder if they have it in English. It says four million people. Shut the world ID. Is coin bucks. I'm gonna register. Oh, here's a, here, get a world coin. I will apply. Get a pamphlet, Josh. <laughs> You can learn about your future. Your future 2030 Great Reset Agenda. You'll own nothing and be happy and you'll worship the orb. I can't believe we actually found one of these things. Surprise. I've done like two or three videos on this. What when did this thing come out? Like six months ago, something like that? Really? Because I was in Barcelona and I saw one of these at the mall and there was a line of people going to get their breakfast in. Wow. Oh, he's asking him. Oh, he's asking him how to do it. <laughs> Will they do any on-chain things? Okay. Oh, here's the world coin deal. Wow, is that not the most dystopian thing you've ever seen in your life? Wow. Even like the cartoon characters are completely dystopian. Are they gonna take lightning or I, 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 see if they'll do blue? I've got blue uh, wallet. Hopefully lightning, so we could just not have to bother like chilling through for concentration. Oh wow! You can buy you can buy some alcohol with your after you scan your retina, get some free money from Sam Altman, and you can go drown your sorrows away. <laughs> What's that? Yeah, it's on lightning. Only uh, lightning or off chain or uh, on chain? Uh, lightning is uh, Okay. I think I'm just, I'm just what is this one? Uh, Polygon Network? I'm not sure. That's Tether, that's Bitcoin. I don't know what this one is. Yeah, Vad, do you know what this one is? Do you know what that one is? That logo? Huh. Now this is, boy, I just can't even imagine putting my eyeball up to that. I mean, I don't even want the thing to look at me. It just freaks me out, just even, you're just waiting for it to like move and start like following you like the Mona Lisa.
Josh, you got to practice your pickup line for tonight. No, just repeat after me. I know milk does a body good. <laughs> just say it. I know milk does a body good. But damn, girl, how much milk you been drinking? <laughs> you got to say it just like Ty. But damn, girl, how much milk have you been drinking? There you go. Now I just learn how to say that in Spanish. You can't say you've, though. You got to say you been. You been. Because that's how Ty would say it. And you would have some sort of hand motions going at the same time. Yeah. And you got, no, you got to be doing this. Yeah. You got to, here, yeah, that's how Ty would do it. He'd do it like this. <laughs> and you'd say, I'm with Mr. Mr. Gammon over yeah. here. Girl, I know milk does a body good, but damn. Yeah. But do this. Damn, girl, how much milk you been drinking? <laughs> that's, that's exactly what he would do. Yeah. That's, exactly that's total Ty right there. In fact, we got to take that clip and send it to him. I'll, I'll text it to him. You get a yeah, kick out of that. Yeah. Oh, we got to send it to Josh, too. Josh, Big Josh, would, big Josh would crack up. Okay, let's see what they're doing here. Thank God we have Shane here. Yeah, I'm, I'm hoping that they'll uh, let me do the on-chain thing. Oh, check it out. They've got Bitcoin. Uh, are those coffee mugs? That's kind of cool. Oh, that's... Is that Shibu Inu? Is this Shibu Inu or Doge? Oh, put your hat on the orb? Shane, that's a good idea. Here, Josh, get a picture of this for, uh, get a picture of that for Instagram. Make sure you get the orb with the end the Fed hat. <laughs> oh, that's good. Here, Josh, put your head right next to it. There you go. <laughs> oh, that's great. All right, George. Wow. Here, did you take a picture of it? Yeah. I gotta put that on Twitter. That's awesome. Now, don't cover his eyeball. Don't, don't disrespect the orb, Josh. There we go. Actually, you know what I should do is I should post this to Twitter and at mention Sam Altman. Yeah, that would be good. Yeah, that's what we'll do. So you're using uh, Moon right now? Uh, yeah, I'm uh, lightning chain uh, to this wall just making sure. Okay. Yeah, let's give these guys a plug here. Do they have like an Instagram or something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Amigos, tiene uh, Instagram? Can I, you want me to promote your store? You want me to promote you on? Do they have an Instagram? Because I, a lot of the followers will probably want to come here if they come to BA just so they know they can transact with Bitcoin. What's your Instagram? And this is for the store? Okay. What is the name of it? No, you're, you're the, for, for the, the, the tienda. Yeah, yeah. I just want to give you guys a promotion. Okay, so here's... Oh, no way. No, we have a real person doing it. Okay, so we got uh, 188. Is she uh, doing it? Oh, she's actually <laughs> doing it. No way. Josh, do you want to intervene? Do you, maybe you should intervene and tell her. Just, I don't think she realizes what she's doing. It's almost like trying to stop someone that's jumping off a bridge to commit suicide. I really feel like we should step in there and tell her not to do it. Maybe if I had cash, I'd just give her more cash than she's getting. Just not, I'd pay her not to do it. Oh no, it's getting it. Oh my gosh. Oh no, she did it. So what is Did you get the cash? Yeah, I don't think so. 
Wow. My goodness. I'll chalk one up for George Orwell. Somewhere Bill Gates is laughing his ass off right now. Just twirling his evil mustache. <laughs> Is it working? Hopefully it's not working. Well, this thing sure takes a long time. Oh, it's the light. It's lighting up right there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't follow. Yeah, I understand. I just, I was just, I just Oh, good. It's not working. Oh, good news. Yay. I was checking that you can't do it in Russia. So it looks like they're having problems with the app. Okay. Well, that's good. It seems like it didn't work. She was saved. I don't think she realizes what just happened. I don't. Re I don't think she realizes how much, uh, how fortunate she just was for that thing not to work. Yeah. Anyway, sorry guys. What's your uh, Instagram so I can promote it? So this is. So you guys can follow them on Instagram. Right there. Oh, I turned off. There we go. You guys can follow them on Instagram. These guys are great. There we go. Awesome. Thank you, sir. So if you guys need to transact, trade Bitcoin, uh, this is, or Tether. Oh, there's another guy getting his eyeball scanned. What is going on here? Dude, there's another guy doing it. Here you go. Oh my gosh, what is happening? Uh, George, oh, it's, oh, look, it's, it's moving up. It's moving up. Do you see that? It's moving up to look at his eyeball. Oh no, that time it actually worked. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, George, just before we take off, I took out over 200 cards. Is that, uh, you know? Oh, will he take on chain? Uh, yeah. Ask him if he'll take on chain. It's just lightning? Okay, so I need, base guy, I need to but talk to him here. This yeah, I might take, uh, the gal in the green? But uh, I don't, she was telling me to talk to him, and then he wanted lightning. But I think I just did a private transaction. But can you, but I have 650 that I've got to unload. 650 in Bitcoin. Uh, that could take a while to confirm. Ask him about Blue Wallet. I have Blue Wallet. But that's on chain. Just put in your, in your translator app. Uh, I still have more lightning. And then I can just transfer you the. <laughs> yeah, two people. I think what they're doing is they're. Oh no. Is this guy going to do it as well? Oh no. But what's crazy is this. It's probably easier to transact than Bitcoin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. How ironic that the Bitcoin ATM doesn't work, work, but Orb is working perfectly. I don't think it worked for that first girl though. Something failed, but for that guy, he just got sucked right in. Didn't like her eyeballs. Probably she wasn't vaccinated or something. Yeah. All right, let me cruise out here because we got to figure out if this guy. Okay, wow, that was crazy. Who would have thought that we would have run into an orb? That, 
the most dystopian thing ever. Uh, this guy wants to talk. Okay, so what we have to do is go back in there and I've got to see if they're going to accept the on-chain app because they were able to accept Lightning no problem. So that's good news. So worst case scenario, I can buy or I can send Shane Bitcoin and he can give me the cash and we can do that on chain, but I'm gonna end the live stream right here, try to go back in there and uh, do an on-chain transaction. So as soon as we get done with that, we'll get back to the live stream and I'll give you guys a summary of what just happened with uh, the crypto, the Bitcoin, the good, the bad, the ugly there with the Orb and WorldCoin.